Hey guys, to start this butterfly makeup I am using a petal shaped face painting sponge and I've put some yellow tag on there and some red tag and I'm just blending the two colors together and kind of using the sponge as a stamp. So I'm just starting off with creating the shape of my butterfly and I'm also using the sponge underneath my eyes just to create the bottom wing as well. Now using a clean sponge I'm going in with some tag white and I'm just lightening the corners of my eyes. Once the face paint has dried I'm going in with my Ben Nye Gold Shimmer Crayon and I'm just creating a nice gold colour over the middle of my eyelids. Now I've got a nice dark red eyeshadow and I'm just darkening out my eyes a little bit and making it a little bit more makeup-y. Using the same dark red eyeshadow, I'm also putting some into the inner corner of my eyes and underneath my bottom lash line. And while I still have that colour on my brush, I'm also going around the shape that I made for my butterfly and I'm just giving that colour a little bit more depth. For the outlines I'm using a small angle brush and some tag black. I love using these angle brushes because you can get some nice thick lines and you can also get some really nice thin sharp lines which is always nice to have a little bit more of a definition through your butterfly. And once I've done the outlines I'm going into the inside of my butterfly and I'm just creating some little extra details. To do some finer details like little lines and dots I'm using a small round brush. For the body of my butterfly I am doing a more of like a little bendy sort of thing. Uh, just because it's a little bit more of a mature sort of butterfly, so I didn't really want to do a full insect body. And for the antenna as well, rather than doing the big swirls in the middle of the forehead, I think it looks a little bit more classy if you do a couple of little ones coming off the wings. Using the same tag black, I'm now uh, doing a bit of a top eyeliner as well. I'm doing the bottom eyeliner as well. You can definitely just use a normal eyeliner pencil. A few more little dots and I'm finished with the black. But of course I'm going in with my black star blend and I'm just fading out some of those outlines a little bit. This helps give it a little bit more depth and as you can see soon, compared to the other side, this really does make a difference. This is a little optional part if you like. Um, I'm just using a brown tag and I'm going underneath my wing and creating sort of a shadow effect. 
and I'm adding a couple of little shadows underneath my antenna as well. Next step, my favourite part, I've got my gold powder and mixing liquid and I'm just adding some nice little gold highlights to my butterfly wings. This gold mixture looks the best when you put it on top of black, so that's why I kind of did all of those little dots and things so that I can put some little gold highlights on them. Also, lastly, just to get the wings to pop out a little bit more, I'm just going in with some tag white and adding a few little highlights in there. Now off camera, I'm putting in some nice black contact lenses and some of my favorite sugar pearl eyelashes. To finish off the look, I'm using my Model Rock liquid lipstick and I'm just putting a little bit of gold into the center of my bottom lip as well. And then that's my butterfly look all finished. So obviously I wouldn't do this kind of look for a kid's face paint, it's more of a makeup-y one. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.